Aquarius, welcome to your bi-weekly read, okay guys? Uh, for this week, I'm going to see what wants to come out. Now, uh, this could be, I usually, I typically focus in on love, so we'll see what this is in coming through for you. Let's take a look at what the cards want to say. It could be some other things that come out as well, so stay tuned, all right guys? Uh, oh, do keep in mind, guys, I got 50% off my 30-minute reads. Uh, you'll see that up here or my description box below. It's just for, I mean, it's only going to be for a really short time now. I think it's, uh, I've got like, what, uh, a day or two left, all right? So here you go, guys. Uh, what is coming out for you here? Ah, wow. You know what this card, it's a seven card, and it's interesting because this is about having to do with relationships. It's like the seventh house is house of relationships, one-on-one -on -one connections with others. And this is saying, what must be, shall be. Now, what particularly does that mean? This could mean, guys, that, you know, you have um, bold ambitions in your life, Aquarius, all right? Very bold ambitions. And, and this is about, uh, you're being guided to believe that they're a natural expression of your soul. This is about your life dreams and ambitions. And this is about moving forward in them, all right? There's a transformation into some sort of maturity that involves a lot of learning, some sort of learning and, 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 and how to grow from, you know, through light and through the darkness and then boom, back into the light again, right? So, you know, this is about dedicating yourself to what you love without hesitation, all right? So if you're experiencing any sort of loss or change right now, Aquarius, this card reminds you, have faith. Uh, because sometimes things tend to, um, you know, tend to, you know, sometimes things tend to work against us, right? And, um, you know, and this is saying is that it wants you to keep going and know that your destiny is unfolding and you're moving through these different circumstances, ultimately knowing that you're going to, you know, become, you know, your soul uh, in, 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 in fullness, Okay. Uh, so that any sort of darkness that you're feeling right now is going to give way to the light, okay? So, yeah, that's interesting. Interesting. It talks about how bones can nourish, you know, that they kind of, of the sacred cow returns to the earth to give minerals for a new life. And so, you know, that uh, in human life, there, there's a loss sometimes that allows for something new to be vitalized. And you're here to bring dreams to life in this world. Okay, so give up the old ways, old identities. Uh, and, and it can be frightening a bit, but it's inspiring for you to do what the soul wants to do and to blossom like the flower here and to grow in a new way. Um, yeah, and, and this is about, you know, pushing humanity towards a new world. And that is you. Okay, so take this leap of faith endure any sort of ending and know that it's not really an ending as you know energy trans transforms it's, it's, it's always constantly in evolution and that's just a sign that you've got new new life in front of you here so have faith uh move forward go through you know towards your dreams let's take a look at anything else that wants to come through okay i'm going to pull a few cards on each side uh and we will see what comes through for aquarius uh what do we get uh, and give me another card here that comes through, okay? And then this other person on the other side, someone that you might be connected with. Uh, I want to get this on the proper way here. You'll see these cards. I'll be able to share these with you through the light, guys, all right? And this goes this way, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and start with you first. Um, what I'm getting here is the Two of Cups. This is two people, and you can kind of see here, is coming together two people coming together and sharing their cup, okay? So this is an opportunity to come together and express emotion between you and another person, share emotions, you know, perhaps that's coming through. Um, yeah, it, it's an opportunity to bring that together into, for, for, you know, into uh, um, reality here, okay? So it could be that there is love or romance that is around the corner, okay? Uh, cups is expression of emotions. It could be soulmate connection, a romantic partnership, but love and romance is definitely on the way. Um, and I do get that maybe after some sort of conflict in the past, okay, I get the five of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it could be after some sort of conflict, but I do feel that after some sort of conflict, it's look at, it's like whatever fell down is now going to come together. So when I put these cards behind each other, you can see, yes, there was some obstacles, 
but look at your, you're both are leveling. It's like you're leveling up into higher consciousness. And now there is an opportunity for an expression of emotion is what I get. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, and then I also get, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, water energy as well. Um, so anything else that wants to come through that's going to be important on your side, there's an expression of emotion coming through. Um, anything more? What else do we get? Oh my gosh. It's, there is something that you've been manifesting. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let me put this in the right way here. Okay. Here's the right way. It's hard to see because I have to look at uh, the sign here. I get the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a wish of bliss, of an opportunity, a wish that is coming true in some sort of way. So there's some sort of wish that you're getting here is what I get. Uh, some sort of wish comes through uh, and it's been, and it's actually something that you've manifested. This is the Ace of Pentacles right behind it. So it's the other card. So you get a wish that you've been focusing in on for quite some time and it comes to abundance. Like this is you visualizing it and bringing it, you know, into life is what I get. So I, I like this for you. This some, I don't know if you're going to see this or not, but this is an opportunity for it to really come to fruition. Okay. So have faith in the, the situation. Uh, continue to manifest what it is that you want. Um, the tens are about coming to fruition. So it could be abundance, wealth, inheritance. Also, it could be the case. Um, you know, that usually comes, it could be something of the sort of something of a wish that you've wanted that is, is coming through. But, you know, more, more importantly, it's like a happy home. There's some sort of contentment that you are focusing in on manifesting and, and, and you are focusing in on um, a happy home. This could be contentment. Uh, this could be wholeness. Uh, uh, and again, just happiness that is coming through here. Um, the, the Ace of Pentacle, again, is just a manifestation of something new. There could be a new career opportunity that is bringing forth a lot of abundance, a new home. Uh, health is looking good. Um, I do get prosperity and profit. So some of you might be getting new jobs or you're up leveling in a current job. Um, in a relationship, this could be a, an exp I think that two things are happening at the same time and it could happen in your career, but it's also happening in your love life. So this is quite interesting that that's showing up. Now, the other person on the other side, uh, what I get is the seven of wands. And this is about having faith and persevering. Sevens are house of partnerships, so they're persevering in their house of partnerships in terms of moving forward, all right? So I feel that there is an opportunity to uh, persevere, not give up. And then what else do I get? Oh, this is so beautiful. Um, you know, this is interesting. Oh, let's see which way this goes. Okay, it's a 13 card. Something about persevering. And this is cutting through the wheat to get to, to push forward. It's like, not only are you being strong and defending and it was this person, you know, wanting to persevere, they're cutting the weed at the shaft and being able to be able to push forward even more so. Okay. So I get with this, uh, with this being a 13 card, it could, you know, mean, well, for me, when I see this, it's with these new cards here, it's about experiencing some sort of ending and with a brand new beginning. So I get a scorpionic energy. You could be done with the Scorpio, um, or someone who's got, uh, you know, perhaps fire in their chart. Um, they don't have to have that, but this is about really cutting through the situation. Okay. This is about a change and pushing forward. It's about loss of aspects of oneself and to be able to push forward into something new. So the person that you're dealing with there, it's like, it's about saying farewell to the familiar parts of oneself, very similar to you, uh, and being able to move forward. Okay. So that's what I'm getting. Um, it is, uh, I mean, the death card, uh, it's, it's interesting because the death card has a natural companion with the Empress energy, uh, with the Empress card. Uh, it's got two sides of a cycle. The death is, a, you know, a transformation and the Empress is a, 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 a new beginning, a creation of a new cycle after destruction. Uh, but also really, uh, that's what I see that's coming through here. So it could be, again, a career. And this person could uh, appear when they maybe reach some sort of situation uh, where they're closer to their true destiny. 
and that's what I'm getting. So they're cutting the wheat through the shaft here, and this is like the death card, and they're persevering and pushing through what it is that they need to do. Uh, especially when they re this person may have re, re have gone through some sort of great change, very similar, uh, you know, to you. And this is a graduation to the next level. It's a change in their life that can, uh, you know, it, but it, you know, it, it's it's about keeping moving forward. Okay. So, ooh, interesting. Give me anything more for this person on their side. So they've gone through a massive change. What else comes through? Um, wow. What else do we get? And okay, so ooh, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's you, okay. And then what do I get? Ah, and let's take a look at what this is. The Queen of Swords is being very, you know, uh, keen and perceptive, you know, about a situation, all right. So I get that um, moving forward, you know, this is uh, you can kind of see that, you know, she's with her sword, and very perceptive, quick witted, uh, quick thinking, and is in charge of her, you know, her, her mind has a keen sense of perception. Now, it's also about, uh, you know, being able to, uh, you know, use the mind in a, a beautiful way. It's kind of like um, uh, having a keen sense of perception, being strong, having strong boundaries, uh, seeing, being able to see the true picture. You can't get anything kind of behind her there. You can kind of, that's what I'm getting. So I feel that this person sees that they can't, um, let me make sure this is going right. Yeah, they can't. Uh, um, they can't, there's no, nothing's gonna get past you, um, but this is also equal give and take. Like it's like you're not going to hold up without getting equal give and take in a situation. This is about kindness and sharing and coming together. So I feel with the six of pentacles, uh, you know, sixes are about growth uh, and experiencing growth of the past and, the, and, and this is sharing and equal give and take. So if you put this onto each other, it's like she knows that this is what she wants, so she's gonna move forward in that direction towards what she wants. Like this person realizes that, that this is what you want, equal and balance in a connection. Now it's not always gonna be balanced, but it, to some extent, there's gotta be an equal give and take in a, in a connection. There's gotta be some sort of uh, you know, giving and receiving. And it, the balance needs to be restored in this is what I get. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, um, you know, and then uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. Now, in the and 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 what do I see coming forth? Like in, in in moving forward a little bit more. What do I get? Now, let's take a look. I get the Empress energy on your side. Speaking of the Empress, I get the Empress energy on your side, and this is all about growth. You can see that little rose there. There is an extent of some sort of growth among the landscape, and this is budding forth a brand new beginning. The Empress energy. Okay, she's all about nature. And this is about, you know, unconditional love, new fertilization on the land. There is a lot of landscape, like the, the mountains here, new fertilization for a new beginning in love. You can see that, that rose there, guys. That's kind of what I'm, I'm pushing through that you can kind of see. But yeah, there's a little rose. These are hard to see here, but I kind of wanted to use them just to, for fun here. Um, because I think that, that they have, they, they just have something, I don't know, powerful about them, something transparent and translucent. Um, the other person on the other side, as I do get the uh, seven, there could have been some sort of deception, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but now, um, and then I do get uh, the uh, four of um, wands. So there could have been some sort of deception, all right, within the situation. You know, he's looking back, uh, you know, taking a few uh, uh, swords and moving forward. There could have been some sort of deception in a situation. It's coming forth on their side. But then I do get the Four of Wands coming through. So the Four of Wands is building something together and using the power to come together and build something, okay? So with the Four of Wands, it brings forth some sort of stability in a situation, okay? This is about engagement, celebration. It could be a new home. It could be coming together with someone, a new optimism between you and another person. Because I feel the deception is behind you and you can kind of see the deception is in the past but this is about coming together, being strong and overcoming, okay? So there is gonna be a, a union of something, some sort of union in a situation, okay? Uh, after, you know, perhaps some sort of, uh, you know, deception within a situation, okay? Um, interesting, guys. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, that's what's coming through here. What about the connection in itself? What do we get in the connection in itself coming through? What do we get here? What is coming through? 
the connection has an opportunity to reach some sort of duality. I get the two of pentacles, all right? Two of pentacles comes through. And the twos are all about that duality, being able to balance something out, right? So being able to balance out a situation, okay? So it's time to for something to balance out. Um, yeah, that's what I get here. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, okay? So being able to juggle something, okay? Um, interesting. So give me a little bit more on this one. Anything more that wants to come through, okay? What do we get? Oh, the lover's card. Wow. Everything becomes balanced in love. Look at this, the balancing of the yin and the yang in the lover's card. And look at this, that duality. The connection is finally becoming balanced. If it's not there quite yet, it's moving in that direction. And I'm not saying it's 100%, 50-50 on both sides. This is the lover's card alone, all right? Gemini energy. And this is about achieving some sort of balance and growth. Uh, and, you know, to get the two of pentacles, it talks about being balancing and adapting, being flexible, you know, within a situation, okay? Especially a love situation. There could be something that needs to bring in some sort of balance is what I get. Yeah. So, you know, with the six here, there is growth that is happening here. All right. So nice, guys. I like this for you, Aquarius. Like this is, uh, it speaks, speaks about like finding the perfect balance of forces within yourself and renewing your love life if you're not connected with someone, okay? Uh, a re, you know, it, it can also speak of, you know, uh, you know, I don't know, that finding the perfect business partner or who to pursue a career with, with the, something that you truly love, uh, you know, the perfect career in itself as well. So it can, it can even speak of uh, a marriage, a contract, a commitment, making a choice to commit, all right? It, uh, that you have free will to choose as you please within a situation, okay? So yeah, it's uh, that's what I'm getting. Oh, this is so cool in the connection, all right? Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. In terms of uh, anything else uh, that wants to come out, any final information, okay? Yeah, this is about uh, seeing a different perspective. There is a different perspective that is being seen in the situation. Uh, so you could be getting a message. Uh, this is from a page of pentacles. Uh, so the page of pentacles comes through here with some sort of message, all right? Some sort of message comes through of um, you know the, the page here. And I, I do get it's a younger message about uh, a new sense of perception. Uh, you know, seeing something different. Like I'm no longer locked up. I see something differently, right? So it's about moving into that direction, okay? Uh, eight of Swords, yeah. Moving in a different direction. And it's about restriction, anxiety, or trapped. Or It's, it's, it's now someone messaging and saying, hey, I, I kind of see this. I, I see that there is, a, that, you know, I have to put in the work in order to create some sort of shift. But there's a message of, of hey, I, I saw that I was kind of putting myself being restricted and I'm not that way. And I'm moving forward for a manifestation of a new enterprise. There's a new beginning here, guys. It's a beautiful new beginning, all right? Uh, anything that's coming out, um, I'm recording this on the uh, annular solar eclipse uh, on October 14th in Libra. So let's go ahead and pull some sort of advice uh, in terms of this uh, and see what comes through for you here. What do we get? What do we get? Ah, uh, I let go, I release, and I am in perfect possibility is what I'm getting. Ooh, very interesting. Give me anything more that might want to come through from a different deck here. And let's take a look and see what uh, might want to come through on your side and their side. Just to get a little bit more information, okay? Uh, and then their side over here, what do we get? Uh, what do we get? And I'll show you these cards, guys. Okay, so what I get on their side is, uh, excuse me, on your side, is moving forth from past conditioning to a brand new beginning is what I get. So again, being very courageous, all right? Uh, being very courageous and not playing small. This is stepping out into the big, wide open. You've been awakened, all right? So in a connection or situation, I feel something is really coming through for you in work and in love, all right? On this other person's side, this is getting out of the stress in terms of a connection and seeing higher consciousness. So sevens is house of partnerships, getting out of the stress and moving to higher consciousness 
in the situation is what I get, all right? Uh, anything more that might want to come through? Let's take a look on their side. Love. I told you guys there is love that is coming through here. There is growth in love and there's communication that is coming in regarding love. Anything else on numerology on your side? Uh, ending some sort of karmic completion, an ending of a karmic cycle, okay, of some sorts, all right? You know, ending with something about, like, how things, uh, an old cycle that is just not serving you anymore. And this could be that you maybe have gone through some challenging situation and learned some big lessons from, you know, it. And it doesn't just, you know, have to be, you know, within a person. It's like the, it's like the, uh, the wheel... It kind of also represents the wheel of fortune, which, you know, whatever goes up must come down, right? The, the tides are constantly flowing with that ebb and flow. So it's like this too shall pass. And so this is saying like you're clearing the debts of your past. This is personal karmic cycle, I feel, all right? Uh, now, it could be related to a connection, but I'm feeling for the most, for a lot of you, that you're going to be rewarded beyond your wildest dreams by, by, by facing challenges head on. And you are, are creating your harmonious life at this moment with this new beginning. So now with this new beginning for you and then love coming out for this other person, I feel that this other person could be expressing love because this is the throat chakra energy, all right? This is like you attract what you are. So if you're seeing, th if this person is focusing in on love, that is what is moving forward. This is about growth in love coming through. Um, and then uh, any final information that might want to shine itself uh, coming through within the connection. What else do we get? All right. Uh, on this person's side, I fear you will never forgive me. And then on your side, what do we get? What do we get? Please understand that I need space right now. Ooh, interesting. All right. Uh, anything more? Um, I think that's it, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. Um, for those of you that want an extended, I am going to do extended for the second half of the month on this. Because there's love coming out in higher consciousness and two people coming together after some sort of situation and birth, new birth and new energy just fulfill this. Uh, you are accepting things as they are and now that brings in this fresh energy of a brand new beginning. So I do feel that something more is coming through again um, because the card that I just pulled here is please give me a second chance. And this is in the relationship uh, area. So let's find out what that is. We'll find out what they haven't told you, what they want most, next steps with timing on that, uh, what you want most, what you haven't told them, and next, what you hope the next steps to be. We'll do messages from both sides a potential outcome with Oracle advice. All right, guys, if you're interested for the second half of the month, click the link in the description box below for the extended. And if not, I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.